Hello everyone and welcome again to Talent Sprint. This time for a video presentation on venture capitalists, which are another arm of the financial intermediation process which is available in our country right now. Who is a venture capitalist? A venture capitalist is an investor who either provides capital to startup ventures or supports small entrepreneurs that wish to expand but do not have access to equity markets. This is very, very important to understand that a venture capital does not necessarily mean that he's going to support large ventures only. He's going to support those people who are good entrepreneurs and those small companies which are doing well or sometimes those companies which are startup companies but which have an excellent potential but they do not have access to the public share market or in other words, they do not have access to the capital markets by way of public shares. The venture capitalist is a godsend opportunity for small and medium enterprises and startup companies, those companies which cannot approach the public for issue of shares by way of an IPO, they will be financed by the venture capitalists. The venture capitalists are a kind of an angel investor. They are kind of an angel investor because they come as an angel to those people who cannot or who are not entitled to access the public market for issue of shares. So to that extent, a venture capital is a godsend opportunity. Uh, sorry, a venture capitalist is a godsend opportunity. Venture capitalists are willing to invest in such companies because they can earn a massive return on their investments if these companies are a success. I told you venture capitalists in, uh, invest in companies which are either startups or which are having successful entrepreneurs but, and having wonderful ideas, but they are not able to access the capital markets. So venture capitalists go and invest in such companies and because they can earn a massive return on their investments if their investments are a success or if the venture is a success. Supposing there is a startup company and I as a venture capital go ahead and invest 10 crore rupees in that venture capital. Uh, uh, I as a venture capital go ahead and invest 10 crore rupees in that startup company. The startup company cannot go to the public market because public markets for issuance of public shares, there are many rules and regulations and uh, uh, the, the, this company may not be entitled to uh, go to the public for share capital. So I go ahead and invest 10 crore rupees into that uh, startup company and uh, if that company's venture is a big success, I end up getting a massive return on my investment. That's the reason why venture capitalists are in business. They are eager to spot a good opportunity and they are very keen and they are very successful in, in, in uh, uh, spotting such good business opportunities because they earn a massive return on their investment if the venture they have supported is a big success. Venture capitalists also experience major losses when, the picks, when their picks fail. Life is full of successes and failures. In as much as a venture capital will get a massive return on his investments when his pick succeeds. Similarly, when his pick fails, he will suffer a massive loss as well. There are many instances when startup ventures have failed, uh, not necessarily immediately, but maybe after a year or so and the venture capitalists have found themselves on the wrong side because they have lost a lot of money because these ventures have failed. So the venture capitalists have to be prepared for both success and failure. But these investors are typically wealthy enough to absorb the shocks and take the risks. Venture capitalists are typically uh, good investors with a lot of uh, money with a deep pocket. So to that extent, they can absorb these losses and they can afford to take the risk Venture capitals fund young, unproven companies that appear to have a great idea and a great management team. The idea is, the, the, the concept is very clear. They fund young companies, which means that they are either in the startup stage or they have just completed maybe a year or two. And unproven companies, because they have not approved themselves. They are just startups or just they are just fledglings. They have not had an opportunity to prove themselves because they are too young in the field. So venture capitalists typically fund such young unproven companies that appear to have a great idea and a great management team. What is important is not their proven success, but what is important is that they should have a brilliant idea. 
a brilliant idea which can revolutionize the we can revolutionize the entire industry a good example of a startup company which has revolutionized the entire industry could be the homegrown e-commerce giant called flipkart flipkart started up as a startup venue uh, as a startup company nobody knew what flipkart is going to do because their pro business model was yet to be proven there were international giants like amazon but in india the homegrown uh, uh, e-commerce industry was yet to be proven and they were not having the background to show to the world that they are going to be successful but then they were young they were unproven they had a brilliant idea flipkart's idea was brilliant although it was successful in foreign countries but their idea seemed to be very brilliant for the indian conditions as well plus they had a great management team and that is why venture capitalists went after flipkart is now uh, entirely a different history that flipkart has managed to uh, not only survive but grow as well they have grown into a very big company now and uh, there are already uh, talks of flipkart growing further bigger by mergers and acquisitions as well so uh, venture capitalists typically fund young unproven companies with a brilliant idea and a great management team that is very important the people should be uh, the people behind these ventures should be great men they should be honest their integrity should be above board and they should be they should have a passion for doing this business then only venture capitalists will go ahead and invest in them and venture capital by nature invests in new businesses with high potential for growth but also an amount of risk substantial enough to scare off banks this is very interesting venture capitalists fund new businesses that is a given uh, that's a given thought that's a given idea but they also fund businesses with high potential for growth at the same time not only is the potential for growth but there is a risk element attached to it and this risk element is too high for commercial banks that they get scared and run away from these startup companies that is where the venture capitalists succeed venture capitalists are risk takers they are born risk takers they cannot be called, called as gamblers that's a too wrong a word to be used but then they really bet on their investments succeeding so to that extent they can they i mean to that extent the venture capitalists they often uh, give money to startup ideas they often give money to great ideas they often fund projects with high potential for growth the projects which they fund will all have a high potential for growth at the same time since the potential for growth is very high the risk associated with such a project could also be high and that high risk will scare away commercial banks from giving them loans and that is where the venture capital will step in or the venture capitalist will step in venture capitalists look for a strong management team a large potential market and a unique product or service with competitive advantage these are very interesting words these are very interesting words because they look for a strong management team they look for a strong management team means that the venture capitalists don't look for weak hearted men as the management team they look for a very strong management team with enough experience and uh, and capacity for far reaching thoughts and visionary thoughts so they look for such a strong management team a large potential for growth and a large potential market they they have to have a large potential market that's what flipkart did they saw a huge market for this e-commerce business in india they saw a, a brilliant uh, uh, idea th that came to them and they saw a huge potential or a huge market for e-commerce business in india and that's why flipkart was founded and there are many many such su success stories of startups there are there are companies which have uh, started up for the sake of delivering food food at the home is a great idea when you order food online the food is delivered to your house within a matter of maybe 30 40 minutes and companies have been established for the purpose of delivering food they don't manufacture the food they don't create the food they only buy it from uh, hotels and deliver it to the clients in their houses such are these are the businesses which have a very high market which have a very high potential market 
and uh, the companies which are delivering food to the clients today are a big, big success indeed. Similarly, another case uh, for a big success is the case of delivering vegetables at home. That has also been a startup idea, started by a few entrepreneurs, and it became a raging success. So the market for such businesses and such startup businesses is really huge. The market, is, the market potential is really great. And they have a unique product or service. They have a unique product or service. It's not commonplace. It's not commonplace that everybody can do it or everybody is doing it. They have a unique product or service. A venture capitalist will look for a, will look for a project which has a unique product or service and more importantly, with a strong competitive advantage with a strong competitive advantage. I think this is very, very important that the project should have a strong competitive advantage to the extent that they should be able to outgrow competition, if at all there is any competition for them. They should be able to outgrow competition. There could be an instance of a project with no competition at all, like when Flipkart and Amazon started their e-business in India, where there was virtually no competition for them in India. Flipkart had, of course, Amazon as its rival, but then Amazon was testing waters in India at that time. They were uh, a foreign company and they were just testing waters in India at that time. Whereas Flipkart was a homegrown company. It was founded by Indian promoters. So they, 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 their, their market was really given. But there could be other instances where the, there is a market for other companies as well. But venture capitalists will invest in startups only if they have a clear competitive advantage over that of the other rivals in the market. They don't want to invest in also rants. They don't want to invest in companies without any competitive advantage. They, the company should have a specific competitive advantage, either in terms of price or in terms of quality or in terms of quantity or in terms of delivery. One of these things, they have to out compete the market. They have to outcompete the market. Then only venture capitalists are, in, are interested because venture capitalists dare to go where banks do not dare to go. Banks are very wary of, finding of, very wary of funding startups. Banks always want a history of successful existence before they actually finance a project. Very often, rarely do they fund startups unless the group is an established one and they are venturing out into a new line of business, banks normally don't fund individual startups. Venture capitals dare to go where the banks do not dare to go. So unless the business has got a real competitive advantage, venture, capitals are, venture capitalists are not going to be keen. So venture capitalists uh, look for a very strong management team, one which is uh, highly experienced and which has got a high level of integrity and with a large potential market. The potential market means the market may not be existing as of now because this company is not there. It's a startup venture. So with a large potential market and a unique product or service. The product has to be unique. It cannot be an also ran product. It has to be a unique product or service. That is why the food delivering companies became a raging success because that product was something unique. People were used to going to hotels and eating, whereas the product, the concept of getting the food ordered in their house from another hotel by a third party was something new. And that's why that, that uh, venture succeeded. And uh, that's why that idea succeeded. So they look for a unique product or service and one with a competitive advantage. The, the, the product or service must outcompete their competitors in the market. Then venture capitalists are very keen to invest in such projects. They also look for opportunities in industries that they are familiar with. Venture capitalists obviously would like to invest in industries which they are familiar with because they would not, more often than not, not like to uh, charter into unknown territories. They would like to look for industries which they are familiar with and the chance to own a large percentage of the company so that they can influence its direction. Venture capitalists don't look for returns alone. They also look for a chance to uh, manage or to capture the management of the organization in which they invest. And uh, they, uh, they look for a chance to own a large percentage so that they can influence the direction in which the company is taking. They can influence the direction which the company is taking if they have a large percentage of the shares to them. 
So venture capitalists, they actually look for opportunities in, in, in industries which they are familiar with and which they are comfortable with so that they can actually own a large percentage of the shares of that company and they have a say in the direction in which the company should go. A venture capital firm, along with wealthy individuals, insurance companies, pension funds, foundations, and corporate pension funds, amongst, uh, amongst others, pool money together into a fund to be controlled by a venture capital firm. All partners have part ownership over the fund, but it's the venture capital firm that controls where the fund is invested. So a venture capitalist need not act alone. He can be a part of a firm which consists of you know, wealthy individuals. Wealthy in individuals can be a part of that. Insurance companies can be a part of that. Pension funds can be a part of that. All these can come together and float a venture capitalist firm. The venture capitalist firm will then pool all this money together and run the business of venture capital. Everybody will have a part ownership in this venture capital firm, but it is the venture capitalist who will have a say on where the money is being invested. That is the normal arrangement. Some successful examples of uh, venture capitalists around the world. We have had pretty much good examples of that. Jim Breyer, an early Facebook investor. He was the one who sp spotted the opportunity in Facebook. And look at Facebook where it has gone today. Virtually any, anyone and everyone has a Facebook account. And they are a massive company now. Peter Fenton, an investor in Twitter. Twitter revolutionized the art of communication, the art of real-time communication. When all you have to do is to post on the Twitter and it's seen instantly by millions of people. Some of them may follow you, some of them may like your comments, some of them may not like your comments, many of them may not respond to your comments, but uh, it has revolutionized the uh, communication industry in a massive way. And the early investment opportunity in Twitter was, uh, was spotted by Peter Fenton, an investor in Twitter. Another successful example of a venture capitalist is the co-founder of PayPal, Peter Thiel. PayPal is a massive company again now. The idea succeeded. The idea succeeded to the extent that PayPal is now present in several countries across the world. In India too, PayPal is a massive company. And Peter Thiel, when he founded that uh, organization called PayPal, he had this in mind that, that the company will have a huge market. It will have uh, a huge potential market. And the, 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 uh, the uh, venture is going to be a big success because the opportunities are there for everyone to see. And before anyone could seize that opportunity, he seized the opportunity and started PayPal. He is a good example of a successful venture capitalist. Pinterest is again a massive company today in the social media and uh, thanks to Jeremy Levine, the largest investor in Pinterest. Jeremy Levine is a successful venture capitalist and he spotted the opportunity available for such a company as Pinterest and look at where they have gone today. Chris Saka, an earlier investor in uh, Twitter and a rideshare company Uber. Uber is one of the largest rideshare companies in the world today. It is present in practically every continent on earth. And although it's founded by an American, you have, Uber, you have Uber cabs running in practically every city in India today, every major city. And this idea was founded by Chris Saka, who was an early investor in Twitter as well. So this goes to show that Chris Saka is, of course, a, a great venture capitalist. He spotted this idea of Twitter, and he spotted the idea of Uber also. So these are some of the big names in the venture capitalist uh, industry in the world. And of course, closer home, you have the uh, Bansal guys. They are not brothers, but Rajiv Bansal and uh, uh, the other Bansal, uh, they founded Flipkart. And look at where Flipkart has gone today. They were the, key, they, they were the men behind the Flipkart venture. So successful venture capitalists have been a plenty. There have been some rare failures, which is part of life. Some businesses succeed, some businesses do not. But venture capitalists are always on the prowl, so to say. They are always on the move, they are always on the prowl. They always are living with their ears to the ground, so to say. Living with, the ears to ground, with their ears to the ground because they can hear and see good business opportunities. 
where opportunities exist for a huge capital, uh, a huge uh, market for the product, and where the return on their capital will be massive. Apart from the return on the capital being massive, they also hold, uh, they also get a chance to hold a large ownership of the company so that they can influence the directions in which they take. So venture capitalists are indeed a very important segment of the uh, financial intermediation system. This is all I have on this topic for now, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video in as much as I enjoyed presenting it to you. Uh, I love the concept of venture capitalists because they are risk takers. They are not gamblers, they are risk takers. And many successful venture capitalists are the ones who have taken the right kind of risk at the right time on the right venture. So until I see you in a video next time around, it's bye from me for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks for watching and please continue to keep watching the videos from Talent Sprint. Thanks and bye for now.